Hey guys, welcome to the 31st C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use delegates. So all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button and a class. And inside of our class right here, we have two methods. They're both voids and they both call for string parameters. So if we wanted to call both of these methods at the same time and pass the same parameters through, we would have to create a delegate. And a delegate is basically um, a list of methods that we can then call all at the same time and pass the same parameters through. So in order to create a delegate, we're just going to type the keyword delegate. And then following that, we're going to want to decide what sort of return type we want um, the methods inside of our delegate to be. So since these are both voids right here, we're going to type void. Now following that, we're going to want to give a name to our delegate. I'm just going to call it my delegate for now. And then following that, you just want to put parentheses. And inside of these parentheses, you're going to want to type the string or the parameters that you're going to want to pass through. And since these both call for string parameters, we're going to have to put string inside of here. You can name the string anything you want. So in order to add um, methods to our delegate now, they both they have to be voids and they have to call for a single string parameter. So if we had another um, void show message down here that called for an integer instead, well then we wouldn't be able to add this to our delegate because it calls for an integer and not a string. Or if the return type on this was like a string or something like that, then we also could not add it because it this has to be a void. So now, to add methods to our delegate, we're just going to want to um, instantiate our um, delegate or create a new instance of it. So we're just going to do my delegate, and we're going to name our delegate instance. I'm just going to call it MD for my delegate, and then set it equal to a new my delegate. And then inside of here, we're just going to want to put um, a target method. And as you can see right here, it must be a void, and it must call for a string parameter. So we're just going to call this for put this show message inside of here. And when we're putting it in here, we do not need to put parentheses after it because we're not calling the method, we're simply adding it to the delegate. So when we do this, it won't go and do this method right here, it'll just add it to the delegate. If we wanted to add another um, method to the delegate, we would do the name of the delegate and then plus equals and then the delegate name or the method name we want to add to the delegate. So we're going to want to add show another message. And again, we don't have to put the string or the parentheses after it because we're not calling the method or invoking the method. We're simply adding it to the delegate list. So again, when we do this code right here, it won't do the code inside of um, these methods right here because we're not calling these methods. We're just adding them to the delegate. Now, if we wanted to call these methods or invoke the methods, we would just use m or this delegate as if it was a method. So we just do md, and then we're going to pass our string parameter through. I'm going to just have it be Adam. So now when we do this, it's going to call all the methods inside of our delegate. And since we have two methods inside of there, we have show message and show another message, it will call both of these methods and pass the string parameter through Adam. So if we were to go back out here and create a new instance of our class and um, call the show those message, show those messages, it will do the code inside of here. It'll create a new delegate with um, show message inside of it, and, it, and then it will add another delegate or another method to it, which is show another message, and then it will call the delegate or call both of these methods. So we should get two message boxes. One it just says Adam, and another one that um, shows Adam in it and it has a title of test. So that's what will happen when we click this button. Yep, we got one and two. And as you can see there's a test up there. So delegates are useful if you want to um, call multiple methods and pass the same parameters through. Also, we'll be using delegates a lot more in the next tutorial when we're when we look at events. So that's it for this tutorial. So see you guys.